Welcome back to the Voice of Diabetes. This is Diana Butucci, and today we are going to talk about fruits. That's right. Since we've been little, I mean, I'm sure all of us have been told by our parents that you know we should eat our fruits, we should eat our vegetables. And as we get older, then we're kind of told the opposite. We're told that you know, is fruit really good for you? Um, you know, maybe don't eat this because it raises up your blood sugar. So today, I really want to talk about what are the best, the top seven fruits that I recommend to all my patients who are diabetics. So make sure you are watching, guys. Uh, normally, fruit is good for us. They are nutritious. They have a lot of uh, vitamins. They have a lot of minerals, and most importantly, they also have a lot of fiber. Now we know that fiber is really good for us. It makes us feel full. It also has been linked to reducing and um, also preventing type two diabetes in a lot of patients. So they did a lot of studies that people who eat a lot of high fiber foods, um, such as vegetables and obviously a lot of fruits and whole grains, which I will talk about as well, they have a lower chance of getting type two diabetes. In today's video, I really wanna to talk to you, all the diabetics, but also people who are not diabetic and who may be a risk for developing diabetes like myself because I have a family history of diabetes, therefore I know I'm a higher risk for developing it in the future. So I do everything that I can now to make sure that um, you know I can prevent it. So let's get started, guys. The top seven fruits that I recommend, I just want to be clear that these are, I normally recommend that fruits are consumed in their natural form. I don't recommend canned fruits. I don't recommend dried fruits. So what if I'm talking about an apple, I mean eat the apple uh, with the skin and everything um, in the natural form with nothing else added, no syrup or anything like that. So I just want to make sure that, you know, we're aware that we are talking about the way that the fruit naturally comes and not in any altered form. So number seven is apples. Apples are pretty good for you. They're actually very nutritious and they have a lot of fiber, especially when we eat when we eat the apple with the skin on it. Medium-sized apple fruit has 95 calories and 25 grams of carbohydrates. So just be mindful, normally moderation is the key because 25 grams of carbohydrates is gonna turn into sugar. But remember that it does have fiber, which helps regulate the blood sugars. You won't get that immediate spike after eating an apple. And I normally recommend a small apple or a medium at most. Um, and that is, you know, a few times a week, not every day. So apples are a good choice. Number six is berries. So according to the ADA, which I love their guidelines and I follow their guidelines, um, berries are actually a superfood for diabetics, and I'll tell you why. So one cup of blueberries in particular has 84 calories and 21 grams of carbohydrates. So they have a lot of antioxidants. Um, I normally recommend that, you know, berries can be overeaten very quickly because they're tiny and they are so delicious. So sometimes I'll recommend to patients they can even throw it in a plain non-fat yogurt and they can have it as a breakfast or they can have it as a dessert if they're really craving that sweetness. And that's also very good because you're not going to get the immediate spike as well in blood sugars because the yogurt would be considered as a protein source, which helps regulate your blood sugars over time. So if you want to have any type of berry, I normally recommend plain non-fat yogurt and just throwing in some berries in there. And that is a very good nutritious breakfast or um, as I mentioned, dessert. Number five is oranges. So oranges, we know they are loaded with calcium, uh, which is very good for our immune system. During COVID, we've all talked about, you know, having stronger immune system. So a lot of patients actually started eating a lot of oranges. And I have to mention that some of them did inc have a rapid incline in their blood sugars and in their A1C. And if you haven't seen the video on the A1C, please make sure you watch it. It's on this channel. I talk about what A1C is and why A1C is important. But anyways, um, and the A1C did spike because their blood sugar spiked. So I always recommend a small or a medium sized orange a few times a week, not every day, just because they do have, you know, they do contain sugar. So one medium sized orange has 15 grams of carbs and 62, 62 calories, which is pretty good. And they have a lot of folate and they have a lot of potassium, uh, which helps regulate blood pressure. Number four is one of my particular favorite, which is a peach. Peaches are delicious. One medium sized 
Peach has 59 calories and they have 14 grams of carbohydrates. So now if you are choosing in between an apple, an orange, or a peach, a peach is always going to be your better option because it does have less carbohydrates and they are so delicious. It also has a lot of vitamin C as well and it does have potassium and they are not too high in, in uh, carbohydrates, which should make them a very good fruit and a desirable food for diabetics. So before we move into the top three, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please don't, for, don't forget to subscribe, comment below, like, share with family and friends who might, um, like, who might enjoy this video and who might wanna know which fruits are best for them. So now let's move to the top three fruit choices for diabetics. Number three is actually tart cherries. Believe it or not, one cup of cherries has 52 calories and about 12.5 grams of carbohydrates. They are packed with antioxidants, which we know they help uh, fight heart disease. And we know the diabetics are at increased risk for heart disease. So they're not too high in carbohydrates, but also they, they are very essential for our health. A lot of antioxidants, which we know are really good at reducing inflammation and fighting heart disease. Number two, guys, is kiwi. Uh, yes, I love kiwi too. So I am talking about just a small kiwi, uh, sized kiwi. Another reason why I like kiwi is because they actually last. If you put them in the fridge, they can last up to seven days. So it's it's good because we can we can utilize them for for a few days before they actually go. Kiwi back. has 42 calories. It has 10 grams of carbohydrates and two grams of fiber. So it's actually really good for us. It also has 215 milligrams of potassium, which is about 10% of our, our daily value. And it has 64 milligrams of vitamin C, which is about 71% of our daily value, which is really, really good, guys. You can throw them in a salad. Um, they're very delicious. So number two is kiwi. Number one choice is apricots. So apricots are actually very good. And I'm not talking about the canned, please be mindful. I don't like the canned fruit. I don't like the dried fruit. Normally these, they have a lot of added sugar to preserve them. So I tell patients to stay away and making sure that they're having the natural fruit. The so apricots are the number one uh, fruit for diabetics. They own 17 calories and four grams of carbs, which is not bad. They're a very good source of fiber as well. I usually cut them up, I throw them in a salad, and they are very delicious. Um, like I said, you know, you can have more than one, maybe two to three, I, I try to tell patients, but they are very delicious. And like I said, make sure it's a natural fruit. You don't want to take the skin off because the skin has a lot of fiber. So keeping the skin on, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, and share with your friends. I will see you guys all next time.